Hi, this is Paul Gistwicki, and I would like to show you my entry to the ETS Math Assessment Game Challenge. My game is called Equations Squared, and it's designed around the Equations and Variables learning progression. To play the game, you make balanced equations out of the blue tiles on the right, placing them onto the orange spaces on the left. For example, 9 minus 8 equals 1. Now, because this is a true equation, I'll earn points for it. If I try to play something that's not true, such as 1 plus 6 equals 4, I get the unbalanced equation message. Notice that in my current hand of tiles, I have an A. This is a variable. I can use this within an equation, too. And when I do so, I have to give it a value that makes it true. For example, 9 equals 6 plus a. This is only true if a has the value of 3. I earned the operators on either side achievement. That's because in my first equation, I have the operation on the left-hand side of the equal sign, and in my second equation, I have it on the right. By clicking on the score box, I can see that I have the operators on either side badge and the unbalanced equation demerit. More about that in a moment. Let's take a look at some games that are already in progress. Here's one where I've played some pretty interesting equations. I have 309 points with seven digits left. That's a pretty good score. If a player gets a score that high, you can be sure that he or she has a pretty good understanding of mathematical structures. Here's another one. Only 16 points and fairly simple equations. This player does not show the same aptitude as the previous one. Again, clicking on this box, we can see the badges and demerits. If you scroll down the web page, there are complete instructions for the game, along with examples that demonstrate the rules. The For Educators section has complete details about the relationship between this game to the equations and variables learning progression. Let's take a look at a few. For example, the not an equation demerit is earned when you play a series of symbols that does not form an equation at all. If a player gets that, especially more than once, they're probably at level one of the learning progression. They haven't shown much understanding of what makes an equation at all. Similarly, the unbalanced equation and unbalanced variable equation demerits show that a player is incapable of consistently making balanced equations. The badges, on the other hand, correspond to higher levels of the progression. For example, the variable reuse badge is earned when you use a, a variable more than once, that is, in more than one equation. In order for a player to be able to do this, they must understand that both equations have to be satisfied, and so therefore the value sticks to the variable in this case. For complete details on the learning progressions and their relationship to demerits and badges, be sure to look at this for educators section. Equation squared is played free online through the web. It requires no special plugins. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and enjoy the game.